Thursday. It's the time for a new video. And be sure to check out Julesy.com where I have a new schedule for my YT videos. So I'll throw in an extra video just about every week. This month I'm focusing on technology. Next month is my birth month, so it's gonna be something extra special. And yes, I'm recording all my videos for this week in one night, cause girl, God. Yes, let me pour me a glass of wine for this one. Oh, I already poured it. Hell, Shiraz, cheers bitches. Oops, queens, cheers queens. That's what I meant to say. Talk about this, men and natural hair. that I get frequently but not all the time and I think that is largely because I think a certain amount of you kind of already know what my response is going to be guess I'll give you five seconds guess what you think my response is going to be about men and their opinion on natural hair have you commented already and let me know what you thought thing I give not a single fucks about what any negro who walks this earth has to say about my hair not a single one you know this how many I have to give look none Oh my gosh, have I ever had a Negro tell me that I should per put a relaxer in my hair or straighten it? Yes, one Negro had the balls to say that ish to me and he was from the state of Mississippi. So that pretty much discounts all his opinions and really, he I was dealing with him because he was a matter of convenience. And then I was like, mm, yeah, your opinion doesn't really matter anyway. I enjoy you for other things, not your opinion. So, Babu. And I get that on YouTube there have been men who have done videos about their opinion and there's forever panel discussions and events and workshops where we have men come out and talk about the whole natural hair movement and like it's all a gimmick. It's all because women seem to care too much and it's just BS. Like men like what you like. Let me say that again. A Negro will like what you like. If you like your hair, you are going to walk out the house with a certain aura of confidence. Every Negro is going to love it. It's all about how you carry yourself. I mean, what I find interesting is that people will make statements about what they don't really care for or what they want. And then somebody's going to come change their whole life and all of a sudden they love it. Like a Solange, who in all honesty is not the mainstream standard of beauty. I think she's a gorgeous girl. Solange has a very kind of different appeal, but men still gravitate towards her because she's part of the Not A Single Fucks Giving Club. And she just radiates beauty. She radiates her own thing and it attracts people to her. Men like confidence more than they like anything else. It doesn't matter if they say they like the girl that doesn't have to wrap her hair at night. F all that shit. Because I'm trying to curse less. We're gonna work on that. But F all that. You know, P is for power, boo. You got the P, so don't even worry about what's on your head. Do what you wanna do. I ain't never in my life done my hair because I was worried about some Negro not liking it. Like, womp womp, you gonna like what I like, and that's how I feel about it. Oh, well, let's, let's talk on the flip side with men with natural hair. So, for the most part, I'm not really here for that either. Not that men can have long hair. I personally would never date a man whose hair takes longer to do than mine, or whose hair is longer than mine. And, you know, I'm getting to dangerous territory. I'm getting close to dangerous territory right now. But, um, aside from, like, African hair god, and I like him because he's uh, a young man who has a natural hair channel. He genuinely gives tips on hair care. Like, you can learn a lot. He does a lot of technique in his videos. All these men that are coming out with long hair, talking about follow me on Instagram because I got long natural hair. Or I'm on YouTube because I got long natural hair. Men are genetically positioned, hormonally, to grow hair faster. It's like, it's a scientific fact. And that's why I don't got time for it. Because I'm like, whatever. You was already genetically blessed with that ish. Womp womp. Not concerned. Keep it moving, boo. Show me a girl who did that. Show me a girl who, like Kimmy too, who ain't had no hair as a child. And then learned how to take care of her own hair. And then, you know, all of a sudden had all these long, luscious locks. But I'm not really here for this testosterone swindle that Negos is doing. I will be doing a live Q&A on Wednesday, February 26th from 7.30 p.m. to 8 Eastern Standard Time. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter if you dare. You know, I might be a little bit much on Twitter. And Instagram. It's where I let I give all my early details on what's going on with my hair and me in general. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps, ladies. It helps.
Deuces. Part of science that I don't understand where we're contracting HIV out here without bodily fluids being swapped. Because I'm just 